Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we'll cover Jetpack Glance releasing to Stable, the Android 14 quarterly platform release, Google Play policy and console updates, an updated Play Store listing certificate course with video study guide, and an end of summer wrap up covering key announcements since Google I.O. Jetpack Glance has been released to Stable. Built on top of the Jetpack Compose runtime, Glance allows you to use familiar Jetpack Compose style composables to help you build responsive widgets for the home screen quickly and with less code. To make it easier to create interactive app widgets, Glance supports wrapping user interactions into Kotlin Lambda functions or action callbacks that can seamlessly call your app code. Head over to the docs to learn more. The final Android 14 Beta 5.3 patch was released last week. And this week kicks off with the release of Android 14 QPR1 Beta 1. If you take no action and remain enrolled in the beta program, you'll automatically receive the QPR1 release on your enrolled devices the week of the 18th, and will not receive the final public Android 14 release unless you follow the instructions provided at the link below. Google Play shared a bunch of policy-related information, including updates to the app content page in Google Play Console, updates to the Google Play SDK Index, the new developer help community, the Google Play Strike Removal Program, a new Play Store banner for the VPN app category, and more. Also, if you haven't completed your updated data safety form yet, Play released a short video to help you make it happen before the December 7th, 2023 deadline. Users will begin to see your new information in your store listing in early 2024. Google Play also released a major update to the Play Store Listing Certificate course, along with a video study guide series to help you prepare for the exam. The course is a self-paced training that covers all of the latest custom store listing and store listing experiment features, along with real-world examples showing how you might use them to drive user growth. With fall rapidly approaching, here's a recap of some of the top updates since Google I.O. back in May. First of all, the Pixel Fold and tablets launched, and we released a guide to help get your apps ready. Android Studio Giraffe went to Stable, which introduced Compose Animation Previews, the stable release of Live Edit for Compose, a new Device Explorer, and much more. We released the Media Developer Center a new hub for documentation on Android media use cases, and the place to find information to create best-in-class multi-device apps. We closed out the Android 14 beta program with a beta 5 release and one last blog post to help you get your apps ready. And Compose for Wear OS and the Tiles 1.2 libraries were released to stable, so you can leverage your Compose knowledge to efficiently bring apps to Wear OS. That's it for this time, with Jetpack Lance being released to stable the Android 14 QPR1 release, a recap of some of the summer's top Android dev hits, Google Play policy and console updates, and the new video study guide series along with an updated Play Store listing certificate course. Remember to like, subscribe, share, stay safe, and come back here soon for your next updates from the Android developer universe.